Alright, this is Keep Hope Alive. My real name is Richard Vedvik, of course, but what we're going to cover today is a little bit of heat shrink, and I'm also going to show you how I'm going to take this 10 gauge ground wire spring terminal and terminate it in a way that I feel is sufficient. Again, using the trusty Radio Shack wire strippers, these things are capable of stripping just about everything you're going to come across. That's 10 gauge or less. Even down to a 26 gauge, I can strip individual strands of CAT6 with that thing. So I'm going to take this wire and I'm going to insert it in this terminal. And I'm going to, I'm going to want to be real careful. But before I do this, if I'm going to use heat shrink, I darn well better consider that and put that on my wire before I put my terminal on. Sometimes you can actually squeeze the heat shrink over your ring terminal. Uh, but other, other times you just don't want to mess with that. So I'm going to slide it in there being as careful as possible to make sure that I don't have any strands that come back. And you can also see here that I don't have very much, very many strands that stick out. Now with 10 gauge, there's various ways that you can crimp this thing correctly. This is all right, and yeah, that's a cat. This is a crimping compression tool that's going to be perfect for this. It allows me to make a real nice connection there. You can see you have two bands of crimp, holds it on really well, and I can slide this over and I can, I can apply the heat shrink. Best thing I've found is a windproof lighter. Windproof lighters are going to allow you to hold this at multiple areas, and normally you won't be doing it over a flammable piece of paper on your dining room table, but regardless of where you're actually applying it, now when I apply this flame on heat shrink, Essentially always moving it around. I'm watching the heat shrink, watching it shrink down, looking for any wrinkles, and there you go. It's about as good as it gets. So you're going to want to let that cool down, but now I can apply my ring terminal to whatever thing I'm going to apply it on. This is a battery post extender for side post jams. And there you go. Now you got a nice solid ground connection, well insulated, well protected, good secure connection. While we're on the subject of heat shrink, I'm going to take a piece of wire here, and one of my favorite kinds of wire to use in car audio is a jacketed wire. This is like a CL1 or C1 or C2 rated in-wall speaker wire. Typically see it for home theater, but excellent for car audio. Now the nice thing about these handy dandy strippers is one strip pulls the outer jacket off, and then I can simply come through and finish off each of these wires. Now, just like before, anytime you're going to apply heat shrink, you're going to want to apply it to your wire before you actually connect, put your connector on. And you're going to forget this over time, and just as I have many times and everybody else has. Hopefully you do it enough, you just remember that before you get started, you put your heat shrink on, and then you make your connection. So I'm going to slide it on, place my terminal on, I'm going to crimp it. I, of course, prefer to use my ratcheting crimpers because they provide the best quality connection. Now, before I heat shrink this one, I'm actually going to go ahead and do this one too. That way I don't run into any other issues. So I'm going to slide that on there. One of the ring terminals here. And to show you that if you don't have ratcheting crimpers, it's not the end of the world. You can still use the crimp tools that are built into your stripping tool. You always use the crimper that has the colored dots on it because that's what corresponds. And if you want, you can kind of replicate what we do with the ratcheting crimper and do two. So you're going to slide this up as far up as you can. Uh, essentially, the only parts you really want exposed are the uh, metal spades. I'm going to go ahead and use my trusty heat shrink tool here, windproof lighter. And in a matter of seconds, I have myself two very well done wire terminals that have been heat shrank insulated. Enjoy.